growing up i was always the skinny kid but i was also always a massive foodie who gorged on all the junk food in sight i realized quite late that both of these couldn't continue to be true for long my junk food addiction eventually started to catch up with me by the 8th grade i was no longer skinny by 9th and 10th i started to put on a good amount of weight and by the 11th grade i'd become obese the 11th grade was incidentally also the time when i moved to a new school and in the very first few days i became known as the fat guy i can't tell you the number of times people told me to start running not knowing anything about fitness at the time and also just starting to realize at the same time that i needed to do something about the massive paunch i saw every time i looked down i decided to do what i was told i decided to start running i became that cliched fat kid who was always on the treadmill but even then even when i didn't know any better i remember thinking that there had to be a better way i remember feeling so proud after a long run and i also remember sitting down for dinner that very night and feeling disgusted with myself thinking that i was undoing all my effort bite by bite i always felt like i was just going round and round in circles i couldn't help but feel that there had to be a better approach and what do you know dumbass 11th grade sahaj who knew nothing about fitness was right i fear that there are way too many people today going through exactly what i was going through if any of what i said until now resonates with you this video is for you this video is what i wish i had in the 11th grade this video is for you younger sahaj you're right in doubting the one thing that everyone has been telling you you're right in thinking that there has to be a better approach and that approach is weightlifting let's put aside the innumerable health and confidence benefits of weightlifting for a moment let's put aside the aesthetic differences between the skinny body that you hope to achieve by running day in and day out and the muscular body you will build by lifting weights let's just focus purely on the weight loss aspect for this video a quick disclaimer i have absolutely nothing against cardio it's one of the healthiest activities one can do the benefits on your cardiovascular health and your heart are unparalleled I'm a huge proponent of cardio once or twice a week for these benefits. One of my favorite things to do after a workout is to go on an all-out run and test my own limits. What I am talking about here is relying solely on cardio to lose weight. That is what I'm absolutely against. I need to begin with a small biology lecture for this video to make sense. So let's get started. To lose weight, you need your calories in to be lesser than your calories out. I'm sure you've heard that about a million times before. But what you might have not heard is that the calories out doesn't just mean how many calories you burn by running or cycling. In fact, those calories account for only about 30% of your total calories out. The rest is contributed to by your basal metabolic rate, BMR, also known as your resting metabolic rate. BMR refers to the calories that your body burns throughout the day. when you're sitting around when you're lying on your bed even when you're sleeping so far so good fat loss equals calories in being lesser than calories out calories in is of course the food that you eat and calories out is comprised of two things your basal metabolic rate and your activity levels now different activities burn different amounts of calories for example a 70 kg guy by running at a speed of 8 km per hour which by the way we can all agree is way too less would burn about 300 calories in half an hour and the same person in the same amount of time by lifting weights instead of running would burn about 100 calories 300 from running at a very slow and easy pace and 100 from a good resistance training workout this is why everyone asks you to run but as you now know there is another aspect to calories out and that second aspect is what most people forget about you see what most of these proponents of cardio for weight loss don't realize is that the calories you burn by engaging in activities contributes only about 30% to your total calories out 70% of it is contributed to by your basal metabolic rate and that is where the game changes 
you now know that the BMR, the basal metabolic rate, refers to the rate at which you burn calories throughout the day, even when you're doing nothing. Let's now understand how that works. You see, mass cannot exist without energy. Even fat burns calories. And it makes sense, right? Of course, a 100 kg guy's body is going to require a lot more calories to be able to move around that kind of weight than that of a 60 kg guy. To be precise, every kg of fat burns about 5 calories per day. Now stay with me. This is the important part. You see, by running, you're reducing your fat, yes, but also your BMR. Because the fat that was burning calories is now itself getting burnt off. Meaning that the more fat you lose, the more difficult it is going to be to lose more fat. And here's the interesting part. Muscle, as opposed to fat, requires a lot more energy or calories. In fact, muscle burns about 2.5 times or 250% the calories that fat burns. Every kg of muscle that you put on burns an additional 13 calories. So, while by running you were decreasing your BMR, by lifting weights and building muscle, you increase your BMR. Meaning the more muscle you gain, the easier it is going to be to burn fat. So theoretically, after every day of running, you reduce the rate at which you burn fat. And after every day of lifting, you increase the rate at which you burn fat. Of course, there is no out running or out training a bad diet. Step zero to fat loss is getting your diet under control. Videos on that soon. But what I'm saying for now is that with a healthy diet and all other factors constant, there's no comparison between cardio and weight training for fat loss. And it makes sense too, doesn't it? Should you care more about the calories you're burning in an hour of working out or about the calories that you're burning for the rest of the 23 hours? Definitely use cardio as a tool to burn off extra calories once or twice a week, but focus mainly on building muscle muscle that will automatically burn calories all the time. Let's use an example to understand this better. Think of a half-filled bathtub. You're the bathtub and the water inside it is your fat. The tap is partly open and is filling the tub. That is your calories in. And the drain is also partly open and is draining the water out. That is your calories out. Now you see by running, you're trying to reduce the flow of the open tap to reduce the water. But by building muscle, you're opening the drain more and more, resulting in the water automatically reducing. All right, lecture's over. But I want to talk to you about my experience for a moment. I swear to God, I'm not just saying this because this is the topic of the video right now. Deciding to start lifting weights was one of the greatest decisions of my life. Every morning, I wake up and look at myself in the mirror. Every time I put on a t-shirt and feel the sleeves squeezing my arms, and my chest pushing against the t-shirt. Every time someone compliments me on my physique, I feel so grateful for younger me. Every time I go to the pool, I take off my t-shirt before I've even entered the gate. And I'm reminded of younger me who loved swimming, but for almost the entirety of his 8th to 11th grade, never allowed himself to go because of how ashamed he felt of his body. It's unreal how much difference a good body can make on your confidence, on your self-esteem. And I wish that confidence, that self-esteem for you. As a young man, I promise you, investing time and effort into your body is one of the greatest things you'll do for yourself. Embarking on a journey to build your dream body is one of the most fulfilling things you'll ever do. I wish you all the best on this journey. Lots more videos coming up to help you on it. I'll see you around.